Mama. Can you just give me a minute, please? <laughs> I know, it's really frustrating, huh? Mm. Mm. Do you know what's really frustrating for me? When I just want to be by myself for a minute to wash my face, but you're in here. It's a little frustrating. Hi, Kai Kai. Paint? Yep, you're painting. Is it fun? Last night, I did a thing. Randomly decided to chop up my giant Monstera for no reason other than, well, I don't wanna get into it. Long story short, I stress chopped up my large Monstera plant and I will just be sticking this outside so it can grow back and be an outside plant. Very thick, the stem is. Okay, you can't really tell. Well, I think it's pretty thick. Maybe it doesn't look that thick. When I was cutting it, it felt so monstrous. Anyway, this is gonna live outside now. Hi, Kai Kai, I love you. Don't put it in your mouth. That does not go in your mouth, okay? Only on the paper. Do you understand me, yes or no? <sighs> so, moral of the story, I need to get these put into water because they've been sitting out for like 12 hours now. Um, but the problem is they're like pretty big, especially this one. Look at how big this bad boy is. It's pretty top heavy and I'm kind of nervous it's going to tip these over or I guess not even fit. Is that gonna tip over? Oh, 100%. What am I gonna do? I don't have anything else. Oh no. Okay, crisis averted. I am going to be using this container, which my Domino Peace Lily, my Domino Spathlophyllum Peace Lily was living in because I can keep all the cuttings in one vessel. But yeah, I'll be able to put all the cuttings in this, which I'm excited about, be able to keep them all together. Yesterday before I, like immediately before I chopped this, I had big plans. I was so excited to move it to a new spot. That's what I was doing. And then not gonna get into the reasons why, but it wasn't gonna work out. So I just got kind of mad and I chopped it up. And here we are. Now my plant is destroyed. I don't know why I do this, but it's good. It'll be fine. We're good. So there we have it. I don't know where it's gonna live. Where should it live? <gasps> I don't have space for it anywhere. Ooh. I decided to put it on the floor in this bathroom because it gets pretty good light. And I don't know, it's just a big awkward plant. <sighs> so this was like kind of the only option. I can't really think of anywhere else to put it. I th this'll be fine for now and maybe eventually I'll find somewhere better for it. Kind of awkward. Well, not kinda actually, very awkward. Oops. Thank you to Mudwater for making this video possible. Basically, Mudwater is a coffee alternative with four adaptogenic mushrooms and Ayurvedic herbs. Something I was noticing with coffee is it was leaving me kind of jittery and anxious. Once I made the switch to Mudwater, I genuinely have felt such a huge difference. How I drink my Mudwater is I just add a tablespoon to a hot cup of water, and then I like to add a little bit of honey. The ingredients they use are 100% USDA certified organic. Not 
non-GMO, gluten-free and vegan, as well as being kosher and Whole30. Few of the ingredients that they use, cacao, lion's mane, chai. Some of the benefits that stand out to me are increased focus, which is the number one thing I have noticed as a result of drinking mud water first thing in the mornings. Not only that, but their tins are recyclable. If you'd like to give it a go, you can get 15% off their starter kit by using my link down in the description box and using my code for 15% off their starter kit. So it really is worth a shot, you guys. I highly recommend it. <clears throat> On the plus side, this frees up my large plant stand for peace lily, which that looks really good there. Oh, the light is terrible. It needs to be watered. Honestly, I'm just really missing my last house, the jungle house, as I like to call it. There were just so many plants. It felt really just, it really felt like me. This house just not, does not feel like me at all. And Ryan doesn't want to put holes anywhere for grow lights, so, there's really only limited places that I can be keeping plants, which really, really sucks. I'm pretty bummed about it. I just really wanna live in a jungle with plants all over, and right now they're just pretty spread out. It's okay, it is what it is, but it's just kind of a bummer to me. But honestly, this bathophyllum up here is making me feel so much happier. So I'm glad I did that, right? So jungle. Okay, so I have this Neon Pothos, which I propagated months ago. It's been in water this whole time, for a long, long time. I mean, you can see the roots are wild and it has so many little baby plants trying to grow, but it's just a little too compact. And I want my upstairs to feel more jungle-esque. So, oof, I'm gonna go ahead and, wow. Look at all those baby plants struggling to, struggling to get out here. I'm gonna move it into a bigger container. Ugh, is this gonna work? Maybe. You know what? We are going to put it into this. I'm just gonna fill it up with water. Much better, huh? Wow, it's gonna grow so nicely, I think, hopefully. That looks awesome. Okay, let me show you where I'm gonna move it. This spot is pretty low light, I would say. I mean, it does get some south, south southern light, but definitely not enough for like, I don't know, a lot of plants. Probably not even enough for this plant, but it'll be fine for a minute, I think. Oh my gosh, that's exactly what I needed. I needed, I needed this. Wow, it's so cute. I also have this, um, why can't I think of the name? <laughs> Skindapsis pictus exotica, which I just pulled out of the same type of jar, put into here with some liquid art water. And I mean, we'll see how it does. I'll move them if I need to out of this spot, but I don't know, I think it's okay. It'll at least be okay for a little bit. Ooh, maybe that's not gonna work. Maybe like that? What do we think? Wow, it is dark there, huh? Okay, so these are probably gonna be living here very, very temporarily. <laughs> Whatever, we'll see. Eh. So last video was a whole fiasco. I ended up chopping up my philodendron Brazil, putting it into these little planters because I want this to become just like a hanging philodendron mantle. 
hanging philodendron Brazil mantle. I think it's going to be beautiful, but the issue I'm having ever since doing this is they run out of water so fast. So I'm having to top them off like every other day. In the long term, I will be putting them into soil so they won't dry out as quickly. But right now, just where they're propagating right now, um, water is just the easiest method, I think. That's just my opinion though. Since we're here, I'll show you everything I attempted to show you in that video, but I lost the footage of. So just the vessels I'm using, I have several of these ones that I bought to paint. This is one that I already painted, just haven't gotten around to the rest of them. Um, but this was a mug that my sister Morgan made in college for me. It's a little cat mug. And yeah, it's perfect for these philodendrons. It's so cute, I love it. The only other like off one is just this one. This little tiny guy with some texture and little handles on the side. I don't know. I like it and I really, really think it's gonna look so nice once it's all hanging down, don't you think? Ooh, it's going to be so jungle -o in here. I'm ready for it. it ha I, I wish it would happen like yesterday. Oh gosh, I'm really breaking out. That one hurts. It's a hurty one. <laughs> want it to go away. I'm gonna show you all the plants. I moved around today. It felt really good. I didn't film all of it, but most of it I did. So let's just have a little like mini makeshift plant tour. So I put these two little water propagation containers here in my kitchen. I put some jade satin skindapsis props up here. My variegated heart leaf philodendron there. Ficus Audrey next to that. I really, really like this. It feels so much more jungle. <laughs> and, and then on the other side of my editing desk is my Spathlophyllum sensation. Looking good. Wow. Wow. Put two more water propagation containers up there. And over here, I brought upstairs my little Sphagnum moss terrarium, an Alocasia dragon scale, and then an Anthurium crystallinum. And that looks so much more full just with the addition of those three plants. So I don't know if this is like correct or okay, but I bought these grow lights. Oh, I forgot what they're called. To put into here, to hopefully help my plants grow in this bathroom a little bit better. But I don't know if that's like acceptable, is it? <laughs> I'm just putting them in instead of regular bulbs. We'll see. Let me know if it like works or is acceptable or not. Oh, and I hope they fit. Oh no. I think it's gonna work. Oh my gosh. I think it's going to work. I only put two in, cause I only bought two. Cause we're on a budget. Am I about to buy <laughs> enough bulbs to replace every light bulb in my house with a grow bulb? Is that something I'm about to do? I think so. <laughs> I guess that's really it, <laughs> but it felt like I did so much more than that, but I didn't. For some reason, I just feel so much happier. I've been feeling kind of down, but all of a sudden, I am just feeling refreshed. <sighs> I feel refreshed. It's crazy how moving just like a few plants around like that can make such a big difference.